Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about the Edgun R3 30 caliber Generation 1. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at the 30 caliber regulator, plenum, and valve body and see the difference between it and the 25 caliber and 22 caliber regulator. So you can see the 30 caliber is about 15 millimeters longer. It has a plenum extension and other than that the top part of the regulator has been turned down so that it can fit in the air tube. So when we look at the regulator here, we take it off, we see that the first 15 millimeters on the top has been turned down. That's so it can fit into the air tube. So that you know that air, Edgun air tubes have the part inside the air tube turned down where the regulator and plenum and valve sit so that they can actually fit inside the air tube. This part is not actually ever under pressure because the pressure sits inside this plenum so that's safe to turn that part of the tube down. But Ed can't turn down more of that tube, or at least he couldn't on this design, so he decided to turn the valve, or excuse me, the regulator down on the top. That turn down piece happens to be about the same size as the plenum extension that sits on here. And this is to accommodate the extra volume needed to shoot the 30 caliber pellet, which is 44.75 or 50 grain. The rest of the regulator is still the same as the 25 and 22 excuse me, I shouldn't say regular plenum and valve body. So if you remember from the 25 caliber video where I showed the difference between the Edgun regulator and the Huma Air regulator, you can see that this shorter overall length is going to allow me to use a much larger plenum extension. So if you're looking at these two here, you can see that this is the Airborne Arms plenum extension and this is the OEM regulator plenum extension. A little bit more volume means that I can run this regulator at less pressure and get more speed which is going to be less damaging to the system, give you more speed without the inefficiency and damage that was caused to some of the valves when these regulators were set at 150 and some of them set as high as 160. So what you're going to do is take these two pieces off here, the regulator and the plenum extension you are going to put on the Airborne Arms extension which is going to be manufactured by Huma Air. You will then put the Huma Air Matador, standard Matador regulator on and you will have a new assembly that's approximately the same length as the original 25 caliber but it's actually going to have more internal volume than the OEM system. Now the second part of this system is going to be the valve weight, or excuse me, the hammer weight. This hammer weight is going to allow the proper valve dwell time so that you can get the proper amount of volume out to get the speed you want. Again, this is just to make it so you don't have to tighten the hammer spring tension so hard that you smack the valve. This is actually going to give enough force to open the valve enough to give you the proper volume. So now that you understand how the system's going to work, let's go ahead and put it together and throw it on a chronograph. I'm going to actually try to just get a moderate speed out of this and I'm going to set the regulator at 120 bar and show you what this gun is capable of. Okay, now that we set the regulator at 120 bar with the Edgun standard, I do believe the Edgun Long Generation 1 is going to get even more speed. But let's see what the standard does at 120 bar with the power plenum setup. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that helps you understand the Generation 1 R3 30 caliber and helps you get the gun shooting the way you'd like. Stay tuned for more videos, and thanks again for watching.